Geometry number 166, internal versus external tangent circles, inside versus outside, with common tangents. Circles that touch at one point are tangent to each other. You know what this looks like? Like a snowman. His circles are tangent to each other, okay? But Circles can also be tangent to each other when one circle is inside the other circle, as long as they touch at one point, like this. So, look at how, here's the center point, right? And here's the center point for this one. This is the center point for the big guy, and this is the center point for this little guy. They're on the same side of this line. They're both on the left side of this blue line. That means that they are internally tangent. One circle is inside the other circle, and their centers are on the same side of the tangent. They're both on the left of this tangent line, so they're internally tangent. Okay, now look at the center of this circle and the center of this circle. They are on opposite sides of this tangent line. This one's on this side, this one's on this side. That means they are externally tangent, okay? If circles have centers on opposite sides of the tangent line, they are externally tangent, okay? They have this common tangent line, all right? So here's our theorem. If two circles are tangential to each other, then the line of centers connecting the two circles is perpendicular to their common tangent. Whew, what does that mean? Here we go. This means if two circles touch each other, right here, at only one point, and a line is tangent to both circles at this point, then a 90 degree angle is made where the tangent and the line of centers meet. So here's the center point, here's the center point, this is the line of centers. Here's the tangent line. This makes a 90 degree angle. You know you're going to end up using this in a proof. Look at here. Here's the center point and here's the center point and here's the tangent line. It makes a 90 degree angle. So whether it's internal or external, this makes this line, this tangent line, makes a 90 degree angle with the center line. See that? Where the lines of centers meet. So where the signs of lenters, centers meet and the tangent is going to make this 90 degree angle. Okay? Very, very important for proofs coming up. Common tangents. My next video, number 167, is going to be going over a review of all of these lines of center, tangent lines, secants, chords, arcs, all of that stuff. Really quick, we're going to go over it all in a nutshell for you. See you next video.